What's up, people? BP coming here. And I'm missing my partner, T. But she is out running errands, I think. And I am in the middle of a delivery. So, I figure why not? I got some time. Shit. It's a long-ass delivery, too, so I'm all the way out here on the north side of town. I got about 15 minutes. No, probably longer than that. Probably like 20 minutes. Anyway, oh gosh. Chinese food delivery. That is what I do. Um, oh, I, I should say it's a, one of the things I do. Um, I also rent out rooms and a few other stuff. Anyway, I tell you what, man, I love this job. It's freaking, I mean, it's stressful. It's kind of dangerous. Um, I just went to like one of the worst apartments in town, but, uh, and the lady, man, she's like, she's like trying to complain that I didn't give her rice. I said, honey, listen, you didn't ask for rice. You said specifically, I want orange chicken, no rice. That's what you got. So I even read it back to you. I said, look, you want orange chicken, no rice, correct? She said, correct. I said, okay, well. That's it. That's what you get. <laughs> she goes, "You have a smart mouth." And I'm thinking to myself, "You know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to drive all the way back to the store, come all the way back to little old you on this side of town just to hand you some rice." No. Not doing it. Anyway, so that's my little fun day right now at the Chinese Hunan Walk. Just hope we don't catch no coronavirus out here. Shit. Anyway, so <clears throat> I forgot what I was going to talk to you about today. Oh, well, oh yeah, so I love this job. I make good money, and I hustle and freaking get cash tips. Man, it's the best. It's freaking the bomb. All right, um, oh, I know what I was going to talk to you about. Freaking my friend Sharice again. She's like, you know, somebody I, I keep up to date on with... On, on Facebook. I'm a fan. I freaking love that woman. She's gorgeous, sexy, got big ass tits. I love her. Anyway, so she was complaining today about online dating. I said, why are you complaining? She goes, I don't know what I want. I said, uh, okay, explain. So anyway, she says, I'm all about safety, people. All about safety. So, safe driver here. Just got to make sure there's no cops. All right, so check it out. So she was complaining that, you know, all these dudes are hitting her up on Facebook. And she can't decide who the hell she wants. I was like, uh, Sharice, freaking line them up and pick one. What do you mean? Like, it's no, it's no different than, like, online shopping. You know, like, if you go to Amazon or eBay or something, I mean, all you do is just scroll through and pick the one you want, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, there you go. It's done. Over. So, <clears throat> but she's all indecisive in this, and she's like, well, I can't decide what I want, so I just end up ignoring all of them. <sighs> I said, well, Sharice, you must... You must have a good life because you obviously don't take it serious. That means you're pretty much fulfilled and content in life. Otherwise, you would be, you know, entertaining these dudes. But anyway, for me, online dating has kind of been hit or miss. I've had some bull daggers. I mean, just gross-looking women before. And I've had some smoking hot models. Like, I mean, the most gorgeous women on earth. I mean, it's really hit or miss, but right now, I'm, I just broke up with my girlfriend like a week ago. Um, Tracy's my best friend, but I broke up with my girlfriend, um, well, it was probably like two weeks ago, but we just wanted different things. You know, she wanted to have children like that year. It was like a New Year's resolution. I want a baby, and I'm like, 
I'm like, I don't. I mean, I've got, I've got a couple kids, you know? So, anyway, freaking, she got real upset and was like, well, there's, then there's really no point in us talking. I mean, do you ever want kids again? I was like, no, I don't, I don't ever want children again. But the truth is, you know, I mean, I kind of do, but I need more money. So that's why I'm working so hard, right? I'm trying to save more money so I can have a a better life. And um, I've actually done pretty well for myself over the past five years, I'd say. Um, Not great, but, you know, make an average income. And But I've saved a lot of money. So, you know, that's kind of been a positive thing. Anyways, so she's like, I want children and babies. And I'm like, I don't, yada, yada, yada. Plus, plus I can be a little, I can be a little player. I don't, I don't always, I can't, I can't always be the best boyfriend. I'll just say that, you know, I, I have a random taste in different women. So sometimes it's like, I don't know, it's like eating at McDonald's every day. Sometimes you want something different, you know? So, I mean, it's, it's not, not her fault. Shit. She was, I mean, she was smoking hot. She was big tittied. I mean, she had like double, no, she had like triple D breasts, triple D breasts. And curvy ass. I mean, she was just perfect. I mean, beautiful face. Sex was off the chain. It was just great, you know, but often I would find myself getting caught up in, you know, some other girl because freaking they would hit me up and I wouldn't even on any dating sites. They would just be Facebook. It'd be my phone. They'd have my number or, you know, whatever. So I'm like, oh gosh. So, you know, it's, it's like, I don't know. I can't, I can't explain it, but basically, you know, the temptation is just too much in a sense for me as a guy. So to be fair, I was like, you know what? I'll just let her go. Just break up. And it was the right choice because you know what? I figured she's got my number. If she wants, if she wants me around, shit, she'll call me. Say, Hey, get your ass over here. I need some. And I'll be like, okay. So that's how I figure it. But I know, I know, I know my girlfriend, or I should say my ex, she freaking, you know, she wants to have a family, get married and have kids. I've done that. Been there, done that. Not doing that again, you know. I think uh, just having good friends in my life have been enough of a support system. And then, you know, I keep my faith in God, and I mean, I'm doing okay. So, you know, family, friends, my happiness level is up here. I mean, just to the, t- to the roof, man. So anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say for today. Tracy will be back later. We will have some more awesome content for you. She is the best. I'm telling you, like Tracy is, uh, she is the top dog without that girl, man, I don't know what I do. She is just the best. She supports me a whole lot. She helps out. I mean, just, she is the shit. So, and she's super funny. Her freaking, her freaking intelligence, her IQ is through the roof, man. Like, I consider myself a smart guy, but I think my wits come about me for two reasons or from two different, no, I'm sorry, excuse me. I would say I can, I attribute my intelligence to genetics. My, my grandmother was a freaking a savant. She was part of a genius society here in Jacksonville. And then also because I've read the Bible, man, like if you read the Bible f- cover to cover on a regular basis, you will be brilliant. You will be very intelligent. You'll be, uh, academically scholared and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm serious. And you need to have an open mind about it. You can't just you know, read it like it's an old manuscript. I mean, this is ancient. This is an ancient text that is to be, I mean, appraised or, you know, uh, uh, admired. That's the word I'm looking for. I mean, it's to be absolutely admired and, and applied to your personal life. I mean, it's the, 